Hey, it's Dark Jedi. Today we're playing some pool payday for cash. I'm going to be doing some real-time matches. The season ends February 28th, so if you haven't played this season yet, jump in. It's really easy to unlock all the items. However, I am grinding today some tickets. I need to get to 800,000 tickets every month to keep my black tier status month over month. So this is how you do it. I played yesterday, the first day of the month, and I unlocked 76,000 tickets. Now, if I maintain that rate, I'll get to 800,000 very easily, but I might not play every day. Some days I may only earn 10,000 tickets. So I usually play the games that I'm good at or consistent in every day. That way I, I don't have to rush at the end of the month to play all day and get it done. If you're new to skills and if you've never made a cash deposit before, be sure to use my promo code. It's shown right here, Dark Jedi SA. That will give you a $20 bonus on your first deposit and a $10 bonus on your second deposit. So good luck out there. If you do make a deposit, I want to see everybody out there winning some money. So let's jump into it. We're going to play a couple of real-time matches and see how I do. So here we are jumping into a match. So starting off, we're going to do the lag. The lag is the first to the, the closest to the bullseye is going to break. So let's go ahead and aim down sights. Ooh, that's a little soft. A little soft. Okay. So looks like I'm not going to be breaking. That's fine. You know, I can't determine if it's better to break or not break. I mean, honestly, you want to be in control. Uh, if they break and run, you really, you know, or, yeah, if they break and run, you really can't do anything, and, and really your only shot was the lag, but, ooh, that's a pretty good break. Um, if they knock a couple of balls in, get pinned by some of your balls, then you have an open table to wrap, you know, to finish it all up. And it looks like, yeah, uh, none of their balls are pinned up, so my guess would be... Coming down here, shooting that this way. Cue ball's gonna pop probably somewhere around here is where the cue ball's gonna be. Let's see. Oh, okay. Did not think it was gonna come back up that way. Thought it was gonna go around the four. Um, has some some possibilities here. Because he can take the cue ball's gonna okay, yeah. I thought it was gonna go a little bit more to the center of the table, but yeah, I mean, this is a pretty easy break and run. So all I had was the lag on this one. I don't know that there is a way for this guy to mess it up. This looks like a fairly easy three shot into the corner. All going to go down to the corner. I don't know. I, I don't know why he put the backspin on that. Did not need to put backspin on that. I don't think it matters, but did not need to put backspin on it. Okay, and this is a little tight, but definitely easily, I think I lost, so let's go ahead and put a well played. That was a really good break. None of the balls were stuck. Uh, put some spin on there. Oh, 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 yep. And that's the game. So we're going to start off again. I recorded yesterday. If you didn't see the video, I went uh, three and two, and the first match I lost. So it looks like I'm going to start off zero and one. We're going to jump right back into it. Sometimes ends the break. That's why the lag's so important. If you can get the break, you you have the opportunity to do a break and run. And sometimes the breaks aren't all, you know that easy. I mean, that was a very easy break. I could have broken run on that as well. We're going to do the lag again. Last time I did it a little too soft. This time, too hard. But the other guy went way harder. So I'm going to get a shot in. So <laughs> we'll actually get to see me play a little bit so here we go far left just past the left ball we're gonna aim just like that off the rail i like this break oh i thought my cue ball was gonna go in the corner so here's what the other person didn't have to deal with you see these these are these are knotted up so not only do i have to make the balls in uh, i need to find an opportunity to break those up so I have to look for an opportunity where my cue ball or another ball uh, will make its way across the table and break those up. Uh, let's go for the seven into the side pocket. Just gonna tap it in. 
not too hard. If I had hit it harder, I might have used that 13 to break up the balls, but the problem with that is I would not be in a position to shoot the next shot. Uh, if I put a little bit of top, if I put a ton of top, ah, there we go. That's what I wanted. Did I leave myself a shot? I did not. Unfortunately, I got the break that I wanted. I didn't leave myself a shot. So now I got to do a Hail Mary. And I got to barely hit this ball. That looks pretty good, actually. Ooh, that was close. Well, I broke up my ball, but I didn't leave myself a shot. So that was unfortunate. That was what the other opponent that did the break and run uh, didn't have to deal with. Their uh, balls were all spaced out fairly easily. And uh, there were just some straight shots into the into the into the pocket. Not sure where they're going with that. Oh, okay, that was good. I thought it was going to hit the side ball. Um, this is a little bit of a mess. We'll see how he deals with that. Oh, just defense. I thought he was going to do a defensive play. Ooh. Okay. Ah, uh, well. Not looking good for match number two. So this is really the only one leaving himself a shot on the 15. Put a little bit of back, did not really draw back. It actually kept going forward. What happened there is he put draw on there, but didn't put enough backspin uh, for it to continue backspinning by the time it made contact. So by the time it made contact, it was basically like it had no draw on it at all. So he either needed to put more backspin on it or hit the ball harder, and, and that would have helped uh, with uh, drawing it back. So here we go. Uh, we're going to try to keep this cue ball. Okay. Looks good. Oh, got to shoot that. Tiny bit of draw. Looks good. Now we're going to go into the corner pocket. I might hit that eight, which is going to be annoying. Left myself a shot though, so that's good. I knew I was, I was at risk of hitting that eight, but just wanted to make sure I made contact. This one, we don't have to hit it too hard. Just right about there. Just enough to get it into the pocket. All right, so we're one and one off a lucky mistake of Reconcho. Reconcho needed to put a little bit more backspin on that or hit it harder. Jumping into match three. So we're one and one. Having a lot of fun today. Uh, that first one, man, that was a good break. I'm just going to call you 007. So we're playing 007 here. Um, let's see. Is that good? A little hard. A little too hard. That is better than me. So let's see. <laughs> Hopefully we don't get a break and run. Ideally, if... if the best thing that could happen to you when you don't break is that they knock four or five balls in and then they get pinned up and then you have an open table to just really run it in. Let's see. So they got a ball on the break. Um, see, these balls here are a little mixed up. So I'm not too worried about the break and run. Definitely a lot of opportunity to, to space them out. Looks like I'm solids. Huh. Did not leave himself a shot. Incredible. You always want to leave yourself a shot, especially after the break. It looks like I'm going to have ball in hand. Well, that works. So this one, we're going to try to use the ball in hand to un... I want to be just a little bit...
Sorry, I was running out of time and I <laughs> could not get the position that I wanted. So I was able to break up my balls a little bit. Um, that one's going to be, the five is going to be a little bit. Oh, can I hit it? Can I get on target? I can get on target with it. That's incredible. Did not intend for that to happen. Oh, two for one. That is perfect. Now we just go one into the corner here. That one's very guarded. Oof. Get around that. Ah. That six actually screwed up my shot. Ah, if I had hit it just a little bit softer. Um, I can go into the side pocket, so I'm not ready to panic yet, but I don't have much of a shot afterwards. Ah, and I wasn't even on target. Well, that sucks. That was all on me. I should have went straight to that side pocket. I was worried about my next shot. See, I didn't I didn't have a next shot if that had gone in. Oh, this looks like a break. Uh Look at this. Right there. Oh, okay. I thought that was going to happen, but Luckily, they scratched. Mm. I don't think that eight ball has a way to get in. That really sucks. Okay. I don't, I, so this is gonna be incredible. This is, this is what I'm gonna have to do. I'm going to have to bring the cue ball all the way across over here somewhere. I did not get it. Uh, let's see. So sometimes if you hit off the rail and then it hits this, it'll dribble back into the corner. So that's what I'm going to try here. Get in there, ball. Woo! Called it. That's a 2-1 off a bank off of another ball. So, I mean, that's not the hardest shot in the world, but that's exactly what we needed to win that. I almost messed it up. All right, so we're uh, two and one. Let's see if we can go four and one. Ooh, rematch. Okay. When the target's off center like that, you want to put a little bit more oomph on it than you would think because the ball's going to travel a little bit more distance. And ooh, we got right on the money there. I hit mine a little too hard. Let's see your break. 007. Well, it's a pretty good break. Nothing on the break. And I will point something out. All the stripes are spaced out fairly well. So we should have a break and run. If I don't screw this up. I'm going to put some top on here. And get that one ball. See how that one ball is perfectly aligned? And here, what we're going to do is we're going to draw it back and try to bring the cue ball somewhere there for the 10. Perfect. Drew it more than I expected to, but do we want to go for the 10 yet or do we want to go for this middle ball? This middle ball looks pretty good. We're gonna try to stop it. Perfect. Whew. So if I come up here, I have the six ball to go for, and then I can hit the 15. So let's do that. Oh, I hit it too hard. 
I hit it way too hard, but at least I have the 15 to follow through on. That was lucky. Okay. That looks good. So this one, remember how that guy didn't put enough draw on it? This one, I have to make this shot and put a ton of draw on it. There we go. Perfect. See how it barely drew back? It was because it was the distance between the balls making contact. I got to leave myself a shot on the eight. Did I do it? Looks close. I got it. And that is a break and run for the third win of the day. So three and one. With a break and run. Well, it wasn't a break and run. He broke, I run. <laughs> So we're going to go into match number five. Hopefully we can win this one. Man, these matches have been going a lot faster. Yesterday when I recorded, at the 30 minute mark, I had played five matches. It looks like I'm going to beat that. Uh, let's see, mine looks pretty good. Wow. This was better. I'll give you the kiss emoji. The chef's kiss. Tommy MFD. I think I've played this guy before and he broke and run on me. I thought it was my turn for a second. Yeah, this guy, um, I played him yesterday and he broke and run on me. Is he just going to pass it over to me? <laughs> I thought he was going to pass it over. Okay. Do I want solids or stripes? Solids or stripes? I think I want solids. Let's see, what do I have? I'm going to the side here. I can. Perfect. Let's see if I have the five ball. I do have the five ball. Oh man, that could have been a lot worse than it was. Take the seven into the side. Then if we can squeeze it through, we will. Now I'm gonna bank, I'm gonna just double it up. Oh no, okay. This isn't as bad as it looks. Let's see if we can get a bank off of something. I didn't think I hit it hard enough. Oh, just a little harder. Well, that should be game. If I'm him, I'm going for that nine ball. He's just going to leave it there. Interesting. I would have played on that 9. Because that 9 is going to be a little hard to make now. Uh, right here. Because the window that you have to play on is going to be right here. Ooh, I see what he tried to do. He tried to make my ball with his ball. That would have worked. Okay, just gonna squeeze this ball through. I'm 
trying to break it up. Oh, okay. Yeah, that works. Oh, there we go. So that's what I was saying, getting the ball over here for that nine ball. Well, I'm surprised he's not going for... I was going to say, I was, I'm surprised he wasn't going for the nine. The challenge is, is he has to bring the ball up and then back down. He's going to try to squeeze it through, though. And that should be good to squeeze through. It might bounce out. Yeah, that went right through. And that's a game. So we finished three and two. I got time for one more. That was all on me. That was all on me. I should have made, I should have hit it a little bit harder. I knew it. I was thinking when I let go, I was like, oh, this is going all the way across the table and back. I should have hit it a little bit harder. All right, so match number six, we're three and two. Let's solidify my lead, go four and two here. I was kind of hoping for a rematch, but you know. That looks good, that looks like I'm gonna break. All right, let's take it into the side, into the corner. Oh, right into the corner pocket. So if I'm the uh, Naruto guy, I think I'm going with stripes because of this mess right there. The stripes are relatively open. Yep, went with stripes, the shot's good. So really this is just about ball placement. Everything should be fairly easy. If I had this break, I should be good. Combo, that's risky. Yep, gonna have to go for that 14 to the corner. I don't know what you're doing. That was a waste of a shot. Like, <laughs> you're playing for money. You shouldn't be <laughs> doing that. <laughs> okay. Um, well, that makes my life a little easier. Oh, and I went ahead and did it to myself. Let's see. Could have left myself an easier shot. That looks good. Let's take this three into the five. And the five to the two, two to the one, and then the eight ball. This one's gonna be just a nice gentle hit. Perfect. So this one, we're gonna just do a little bit of back. Don't have to do too much. Perfect. Now, what's risky about this is I need to do this. I need to come this way, this way, and then out this way. So I need to hit it very hard. I didn't hit it very hard at all. And my ball didn't bounce at all the way I thought it would. I don't think I have the angle I need on it. Coming to the side. Ah, I should have just went off the rail. Ah, okay. Well, that sucks. This should be an easy win for Naruto at this point. Um, okay. And I will take it. Um, yeah, I don't know if you saw that. But, uh, four and two. 
Not gonna look back, not gonna ask questions. <laughs> So that should have been a loss. <laughs> four and two, four and two. All right, this is probably gonna be my last match. So this will be match number seven. And I think we played this guy first. He broke and run on me, so I need to get the break. I need to get the break. That looks good. Oh no. Come on, go, go, go. I got the break. Okay, so no break and run on me today. I think it's Kelsey. Let me return the favor and get my own break and run. I haven't done a break and run. I kind of got one, but it was off someone else's break. All right, we made two balls, both solids. And solids are basically open. And we're gonna keep the solids. So now we're gonna move the one. I'm gonna put some top in there because I need to follow the shot up so I don't have to worry about a combo. Uh, just a little bit more. Oh, I got it. I got it. Okay. Okay. Can't go into the side. That looks good. Oh, I give myself enough. I got a little bit. The good thing is that 10 balls and the 9 bar are protecting my shot. Oh, they didn't do anything. But, break and run! Well, that went so quick, I think I have time for one more. That's 5 and 2 for the win. Alright, this one would definitely be my last one. Let's go six and two. Hulking sufficiency two six eight. You know, skills will randomly generate you a username if you don't have one. And I think they just give you really bad names so you can go ahead and <laughs> change it. Some people don't. Man, I thought I put enough power on that and I was short. Let's go six and two, six and two. Amazing break, everything spaced out. Um, hmm. I might keep stripes. I'm gonna go solids. Solids are blocked right there. Uh, combo shot, yep. Okay. I almost accidentally made a shot. Um, hmm. Well. I guess now I'm gonna go for solids. Because he broke, he, he blocked a few shots. Okay. Wow, I left myself just the right amount of space there. Perfect. I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna try to bring it back so I can have a shot on the two. Perfect. 
Can I hit it into the side? I cannot. I'm not sure I'm lined up. Lined up. So this, if I hit it hard enough, it's going to go this way and then back out that way. I ran out of time, so I couldn't put the power or the spin I wanted on it, but that's okay. <sighs> I need to put the right spin on it. I think it's that way. Yep, that was perfect. Alright. Get back there, get back there, all right. That's exactly where I needed it. I was gonna draw it out for y'all, but I didn't have the time. And what we need to watch out for is a cue ball going into the corner. That looks good. All right, six and two, was it? Six and two. Eight matches, 30 minutes, six and two. I think if you do about 50 matches a day, you will have enough tickets by the end of the month to get black tier with some time to spare. So yeah, that was good. Let's take a quick look at the record. So we started off with a loss, so one loss, two losses, and we took one, two, three, four, five, six wins. And that is how we do it. All right, well, this Dark Jedi, leave me a comment in the video if you made it to the end of the video. Always appreciate your viewers and support. Thanks.